Hey, hey everyone, this is Coach Yanni Moya and I'm a transformational life and finance coach. Welcome to Quarter Life Bliss. This is a podcast dedicated to disrupting the quarter life crisis mindset, spreading bliss and happiness to all listeners. My mission is to inspire possibilities, taking away the fear of going through your 20s and to crisis proof your quarter life. At 25, I'm very happy to share that I'm living a life of purpose, successfully content and happy even as I evolve with the times. These lessons, tips, and insights I now share with all of you, in the hopes that you too will find your quarter life bliss, whatever your age and circumstances. Hey guys, welcome back to Quarter Life Bliss. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and followed me on Spotify. I have quite high uh, listening number so i'm excited and happy na a lot of people are um, watching listening supporting i really feel loved in the past week so salamat po sa inyong lahat and as you can see of course we are leveling up um i have a camera already better camera and of course my handy na um tagbon dito headphones actually this headphones kahit medyo like, natatanggal na siya, as you can see. Hindi ko alam paano siya palitan. But this headphones was gifted to me by my previous boss, si Boss Ding Dong Dante. So, if you're watching, see, I'm still using it after, what, five years ata. So, this is uh, important to me. But if you know any, like, place kung saan ko pwede pa ayos, better. Because, guys, nababakbak na siya. Anyway, let's start. Today's episode is um, something about what is always asked about me or frequently asked question on I think halos everyday may isang taong magtatanong sa akin ito that's why I realized why not make a video out of it actually um, a friend suggested suggested this sabi niya I have a question for you and I think this will be a good uh, topic for your quarter life please and the great question is what keeps me excited about life so, I get this question every day and I always think, ako lang ba? Or <laughs> a lot of people are not that excited about life. Apparently, ba? So, hopefully, um, itong mapag-usapan or makwento ka today can help you uh, find your bliss, find your excitement on doing your, doing your thing every day. So, I listed down actually four things that I think really drives my excitement, really um, is the reason why I am very excited on a day-to-day basis. So, the first one is, it's not just me, but it's learning, discovering new things, new skills, even new apps. Kahit ano, like for today, I'm so excited to shoot because I have a new camera to use, you know. I have this. Bumili pa ako ng wire kasi nasira na yung wire nito. And this is a Bluetooth actually. So, it's the little things that keep me excited. Eh. It's the new things that I learn, like how to use the garage band, how to edit, how to um, put it on anchor, etc, etc. So, Every day, we natututunan tayong bago. And every day, that keeps me excited. How to create a website. How to do this on Excel. Kahit na yung maliliit na bagay. When I learn something new, it automatically makes me super excited. And, um, yun. Um, it's, it's a small thing na a lot of people miss out on. Parang iniisip nila, eh, dapat naman alam ko na yan. No, guys. Um, honoring every little thing that you learn on a day-to-day basis can actually a push for you to keep learning, to keep discovering new things on a, alam mo yun, parang on, on doing your, in doing something. So, ako, uh, one of the important sa akin talaga is that I'm learning in everything that I do. Um, and it doesn't limit me eh, na, okay, uh, because you're a financial coach, all you have to learn on an everyday basis is all about finances. Um, but for me, 
kung matutunan ko today mag-edit ng video, then that's a skill that I'm excited. And I will keep editing videos hanggang maging the best ako doon. Ganun eh. Uh, that's, that's me. Um, it's very natural for me to stay excited because I learn something new. It It's very natural for me to as in even the little things ha guys for exa- guys for example um napanood mo sa YouTube kanina I was doing my overnight oats so nakita ko kasi ah ganito lang pala madali lang pala it makes me excited every day na gumawa ng sarili kong food gumawa ng sarili kong um meals because may natututunan na akong bago little things that I learn on a everyday everyday experiences kahit maliit na bagay i honor them and then i that keeps me excited to use that to implement that kahit bagong app so if you're my friend you're always gonna receive like a random message to me na uy download mo to grabe to ang ganda nito um even if uh kahit nabili ko lang alam mo yun something na na discover ko or new app, new shop, etc. It keeps me excited. Uh, even online. Ang dami, ang dami talaga na natutunan ko everyday na I always randomly and openly share to people because in an excited manner, in a super excited manner. And yun, so na-excite din yung mga tao. Yun, I think that's one really big factor of why I am excited everyday. <clears throat> Number two, is, so may natutunan ka ng bagong skill, di ba? Number two sa akin is that I see my progress. So, I think when you see your progress, it keeps you excited because, oy, from point one, nasa point two na ako, and my goal is to go to point five. Seeing your progress every day keeps you excited to go to your next level, to go to the next phase, to learn the next... Um, to learn the next step you need to make in order for you to get to point three, point four. Alam mo yon. It keeps me super excited, I guess, because when I always look back in my journey, eh, if you're following me, you will always see like posts or sharing sa stories ko of my progress, my little progress every day. Like for example, from one follower naging 1,000 followers on TikTok naging 10,000, it keeps me excited that uy, nagpo-progress ako, even in numbers, um, especially in numbers to, kasi magandang way for you to measure that. Even if, dito, sa, pag, sa pagsasalita um, on my podcast, hindi naman to perfect, but what keeps me excited in doing this is I know that every single episode, I become more um, I become more, parang, be- I become better in speaking, and wala namang nagsabi, pero I notice, I notice with myself, um, last year, I always do webinars, and when I compare myself, my current self to last year's Yani doing a lot of webinars, Ang layo. <laughs> and nakakatuwa kasi sabi ko, wow, buti na lang ginagawa ko siya every day. Buti na lang um 2 years ago I'm also do 2 years ago I'm doing mga short interviews on my phone lang like I record, I ask my colleagues and then I record and then I post. And now when I watch it, parang ang layo na ng progress ko and I'm happy that every single day nagpo-practice ako every single day nakikipag-usap ako sa tao para I can be better in terms of speaking in terms of um interviewing people so ayun that keeps me excited knowing that before hindi ko alam to ngayon I'm doing this before ganito ako mag-interview ito yung mannerisms ko ito yung words na paulit-ulit ko sinasabi and then now ito na those little things honoring and being present at the moment excites me because nakikita ko yung progress. I always try to, as much as possible, zoom out um, in the situation or in my current state and see, uy, I've come a long way. Ang layo ko na pala, no? nasa Baguio na pala ako. Nagsimula ako maglakad from Quezon City. Alam nyo yun? Parang the little things that um 
you progress that you don't always notice. So, my invitation, if sometimes, no, especially those na may mga small business, if you are at that point that parang feeling mo wala kang progress, check out your day one. Like, look back at your day one and you will see na you've come a long way. Like, kahit na one month pa lang yan, three months pa lang, whether that's a small and start up o business or matagal na siya, if you look at your day one up to where you are, kahit corporate work, okay, tignan ninyo yung progress ninyo. Honor the progress and celebrate. Celebrate every uh, progress that you're making. So, yun, I think that's one big factor of why I am excited. Kasi nakikita ko, uy, bukas I will be a better host. Tomorrow, I will be a better um, leader. I will be a better follower because I see my progress. Um, yun. I, I, you know, uh, people don't always see their progress and they just focus on comparing, comparing, comparing um, themselves. But if you start to compare yourself from the past, from your day one, then you will be very excited to keep going. Because you know, may napupuntahan yung efforts mo. Because you see that, oy gumagaling na pala ako. Or, ang layo ko na pala from who I was when I started doing this. So, whether that be business or corporate work or mga hobbies or mga ganito, parang podcast and kung anything that excites or anything that you're very passionate about, check out your day one and you'll see progress. And that's something that I learned from one of my uh, bosses that you have to celebrate every progress that you make. Because before, I used to be so focused on hindi ko pa kaya to, hindi ko pa kaya yan, hindi ko magawa to, hindi ako ganito, lahat na lang ng hindi ako, and that drags my energy. But when I started looking at where I was before to what I learned in the progress and eventually, um, alam mo naging normal na siya sa akin, that's progress for me. When I started looking at it that way, then that got me excited in life. Yun. <laughs> and then number three is um, ito, ito talaga yung something that excites me every day is that whenever I see impact that I'm creating so whenever I get messages from people love language ko pa naman yan yung affirmations whenever I get messages from my team, my clients my friends who I inspire it's it's the impact that I'm creating every day that keeps me going. Kahit na isang tao lang yan. I'm just excited because what if today tatlong tao yung ma-karoon ma- ng impact because of what I'm doing? What if today, you know, a person shifts his or her like mood or mindset because of me? That's exciting to know that may napupuntahan yung efforts mo. Personally, because I'm leading a team, it keeps me excited whenever my team would say, Grabe no, before ganito ako, tapos ngayon ganito na. Parang, when I hear that, it excites me. Kasi, ano eh, para ka naging responsible for a person's transformation. When you see that, uh, it won't stop you. Parang, it will keep you, it will push you to keep doing good things, to live every day and be excited because you know, baka may big transformation tong tao or because yung mga people that I lead, um, yung hopes, hopes for the transformation. So, I think biggest factor for me is the impact that I'm creating. It excites me. You know, um, receiving affirmations, receiving messages like, Coach, you inspired me. Coach, I love your episode because this. Yung mga nagtatag sa akin, especially yon, it excites me because, uy, may napapalapay yung mga ginagawa ko. 
<laughs> yung mga pinagpupuyatan ko, meron palang nakaka-appreciate, meron palang taong mas marunong na mag-handle ng pera nila because of my content, or meron palang taong napasaya ako today, that excites me. So, every day, as much as possible, if I could keep serving the world um, through my energy, then I would. So, if you're watching this and, you know, parang maybe you're watching this because hindi ka na excited about life, take a look at the people who you inspire, people who believe in you, people who alam has always been rooting for you and you will see mayroon palang napapala yung nagagawa mo appreciate them start appreciating them and when you start appreciating them don't forget to start to appreciate yourself as well because that's all on you like ikaw yung reason why a person would still be happy excited about life so keep doing 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 it diba? keep doing things and hope that you know people get so inspired by your story you just don't know like stop hiding from hi, stop hiding your light but start sharing it because people will be guided will be excited will be inspired you just don't know you just don't know diba um so yun and lastly for me is the possibilities. Possibilities excite me. Because, you know, when I learn something new, when I see my progress or honor my progress, and then I see the impact that I create, it makes me realize that there are so much possibilities. There's limitless opportunities, limitless um, possibilities for things to happen. And that keeps me excited. Ano bang magiging bago? Or, ano bang pwede pang mangyari? This is going good? Or, this is going not so good? But, ano pa yung mga possible things? Yung surprising things that could happen in the future really excites me. So, every day, I just hope that, you know, today, eh, meron akong something na hindi ko akalaing mangyayari. Meron akong manifest na hindi ko inexpect that keeps me so excited um, you know that my mission is to inspire limitless possibilities but I also am very inspired of the possibilities that could happen and you know, nakita nyo papangiti ako kasi it's exciting na if before I didn't think it's possible and then it happened parang what else is there in life that you can manifest because you believe in possibilities? So, people are too focused kasi on what I cannot do or what I cannot have or what will, what isn't for me. But to me, what really excites me is creating possibilities for myself, creating possibilities for people possibilities na I didn't know would be possible. <laughs> Alam mo yun, yung mga surprising things na uy, pwede pala, no? Akalain mo yun, yung mga ganong moment, that excites me. So, every day I'm just hoping that merong ganon. And if wala, eh di okay. You know, may may timing for it. Hindi naman every day din talaga merong mga kakaibang bagay. But what I noticed is that Every single win, I share it with my friends. I share it with my mastermind circle. I share it with my team. Na may mga small wins ako na parang, Uy, pwede pala. Uy, try ninyo kasi possible pala to. And yeah, I, I, you know, um, these four things keep me excited every day. To those of you asking, meron pang nag-send sa akin ng um, voice, voicemail asking me, I just wanna know, coach, what keeps you excited? Kasi ang dami mong ginagawa. What keeps you excited? So, these are always my answers. And if you are a person who hasn't f- found that spark in you to start and to start creating, to start doing, to start taking action, to be excited about life, find the reason. Anapin mo. Like, every day, what keeps you happy? What keeps you smiling? What 
alam mo yun, parang excites your adrenaline to do something. And then focus on that. And then look at your progress. Keep learning about it. And be excited, be open to the possibilities that can happen if you keep doing it, if you are consistent in doing it. So, yun lang. Um, those four things uh, keep me excited. So, hopefully, you learned something for today. And I hope you can comment down below if you're watching from YouTube or send me a message um, as to what you got from here. And also, I also wanna thank everyone supporting me on my content creation on instagram on facebook twitter uh youtube most especially and of course tiktok thank you so much to everyone supporting i really feel loved and that keeps me more even more excited actually to 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 keep doing uh because may mga taong naniniwala may mga taong nanonood so salamat salamat Ha, bye! Hi tuloy! Bye! Once again, this is Coach Yanni Moya reminding you to breathe and live your best life every day. Because remember, when you tap into your state of bliss, you unlock limitless possibilities. If you enjoyed this episode, do follow and subscribe for weekly content. You can also follow me on my socials at Coach Yanni Moya on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. See you next week!